shaping. So I'm going to show you how it's done. The, uh, a lot of the times when somebody's looking at a beer, you know, sometimes it's just hard to know where even to get started. You just start letting it grow in and, you know, wh where do you start shaping? You know, what, what do you shave off and what do you trim it down to and how do you do it? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look at how I want the beard, how long do I want this to be. So I can either use clippers, you know, I could go over and, and use clippers on, on that and trim, and trim that in. But the, the old-fashioned traditional way to do it would be to use would be to use scissors over comb. So to actually go in and comb this and then use your scissors over it. And, and that makes sense. I mean, that, that's a good thing to do. But it's, it does take a while to do. It's not. It's not very fast, and it's also it's not as precise, which might be good because sometimes you hate for things to be too perfect, like too machine made. But also, it's a beard, so in three days it's going to grow in pretty quick and be kind of stubbly. So, I mean, what I would say for him to do at home, and what I'm going to do, is to go through, and I am going to use a guard, and most clippers come with different guards. So here I'm going to use a number two guard and a number two brings it to one-fourth of an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim all of this down to one-fourth of an inch and, and try to even do around the nose and try not to try not to poke inside his nose too deep, but, uh, but go around it, be gentle, take my time. And then after I get all of it cut down, then I'm gonna go through and shape it up and actually use the clipper with no guard to shave it, to, to shave it down to the bare skin. And that's what he can go through and, and shave up to that point, you know, figure out figure out the shape. So we'll go ahead with the, with the clippers. I'm going to kind of follow inside his jawline, and that and it's unique to everybody, so it changes dep depending on who it is. But I'm just going to use the same clippers with no guard, and just shave it as close as I can to the skin, and just bring that up to, you know, to go ahead and, and make the shape. Chin, they might they might do a, a longer guard on the chin area 
So you know, some people do a combination of actually like a number two guard on the sides and on the, on the goatee area, but then on the actual chin, might do a number three, a very subtle change, but it might kind of build out the chin a little bit more. So, I mean, that can be a good idea. But we're, here, we went through the two, we cleaned this up, got it around the cheeks, and that's something that he can do at home, it's something he can maintain, and whenever he gets kind of out of wank, you know, when it gets out of shape, he might come back and say, hey, you know, I need this reshaped, and it's you know, back to me to help kind of clean that up and show him what to do. So, it should be pretty simple. Cleaning up a beard can, can, make, a, can make a huge difference. And, Depending on somebody's hair growth pattern, some people it's you know, simple. It, it have thicker beards. My my beard is a lot more patchy. So I mean, there, there's not a right or wrong, but it's it's a good thing either way. So yeah, it's Eric from Beautiful After, and thanks for tuning in today. I've got links below to all my Facebook and Twitter, so check those out and and, uh, and make sure on this page that you do like it, that you do give it a thumbs up, that you subscribe, and you know write some comments. I'll give it a thumbs up. So thanks.